my name is Becky, welcome to my channel Notes from the Sewing Room. It's really nice to have you with me today. Today's video is a sewing pattern and fabric haul video, as well as me sharing a very special sewing discount coupon with you at the end of the video, and that's for a sewing subscription service. So if you stay with me, I will tell you all about that as well. I hope you've been having a lovely week wherever you are in the world. I can't believe how quickly July has flown past. So I just wanted to um, film a quick video for you today all about the fabrics that I've been picking up over the last month or so, um, as well as some new sewing patterns as well, which I'm really looking forward to getting started with. Interested in what I'm wearing today, I'm wearing one of my favourite Tilly and the Buttons Agnes tops. So this is the design with the ruched sh shoulder, which I really like. So I'm definitely going to be making another version of this. I've got uh, quite a few of the plain versions of the Agnes tops, but this is one of my only ruched uh, shoulder versions. I think I might have one more actually. Um, but yeah, I love this pattern. It's definitely one of my favourites. And today I'm also wearing a self-drafted denim type skirt, whoops, falling over, um, which has got some little pockets in the side. So um, I actually made this skirt when I was pregnant and the joys of elastic <laughs> I didn't I wasn't sure if it would still be okay for me to wear but it is so that is amazing so yeah I've been enjoying wearing that today it's a little bit cooler today in the UK and um, I tell you what I'm pleased about that because I have been struggling a little bit in the heat I'm just not used to it and also my little baby William is not used to it either so um, yes so I'm pleased it's a little bit cooler now but anyway let's get to it and I'll tell you all about what I've been picking up in terms of fabric and sewing patterns. If you have got any questions about what I'm sharing in today's video or if you've got any um, ideas of things that I can make with the different bits and bobs then do let me know in the comments section below. I do love to hear from you and um, thank you to everyone who has um, you know keep coming back to my channel week after week and who has subscribed already. If you haven't subscribed it would be amazing if you could hit that subscribe button and press the like button as well. By pressing the like button you are letting YouTube know that obviously you like my video Video, and hopefully that will encourage the um, YouTube people to kind of um, push my video out to other people as well who are interested in sewing. So without further ado, let me show you my first fabric. So this is actually a fabric that I picked up from Sew Over It online and they got a bit of a, a summer sale type thing. I got an email about it so I just thought, oh, I'll just have a quick look as you do, not really planning on buying anything. And then before I knew what had happened, I had uh, bought some lovely denim fabric. So I've actually been after some kind of medium weight salmon coloured denim fabric for a while. So because they got a sale on and I had actually looked at this fabric when it was full price, I just thought it's meant to be, I've got to have that fabric. So this is it here, so as you can see, I would definitely describe it as being a kind of medium weight type denim fabric. Um, it's kind of crisp, but not too heavy, if that makes any sense. It's kind of lighter on the back and we've got the darker salmon colour on the front. It's got a slight stretch to it, but not a lot. If I have, um, if, if they have still got this in stock, I will try and link it below. The same as anything else that I'm mentioning in today's video, I will put it all in the description box so that you can find it if you are interested. But I really, really like this. I've bought a metre and a half of it. So I'm thinking that actually one of my favourite, favourite skirts that I wear all the time, that if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you will have seen it quite a few times. And that is one of my simple sew grace skirts. So I'll, I'll put in a picture of me wearing it, but basically it's a kind of fitted waist with a pleated skirt. I think you can also make it gathered if you want to, but my favourite is, is the pleated version. And I love the previous denim version that I've made because it's kind of structured, but looks great, kind of casual, worn casually with just little tops like this. So I'm thinking I want to make another version in this beautiful fabric and hopefully I can get loads of wear out of that one as well. I chose this colour because I thought it's great for this time of year, but also I think it would look great with a little jumper and maybe some grey tights or something, you know, later in the year. One thing that I would say is the fabric washed really well, but it has frayed quite a lot. So I've ended up 
trimming a lot of the frayed sections off to be honest before before I've shown it in this video but it's not too creasy even though it's not been ironed so um yeah it's, it's a little bit creasy but not like massively so I think hopefully um that's gonna sew up okay so I'm looking forward to working on that one so hopefully I'm going to get this one sewn up into a grey skirt soon but I will film um a sewing plans video for the next month or two um, over the next few weeks so do keep watch out on my channel for that one but that's the first fabric that I wanted to share with you so I'm really pleased about that one next fabric that I wanted to share with you is actually a jersey fabric I've got a few different jersey fabrics actually that I'm going to be sharing with you today and this is a fabric that I've only got about 80 centimeters of so not quite a meter and I'm not 100% sure what to use it for. I picked this up as a remnant from Crafty So and So, and I bought it at one of their recent open days that they had in Leicester. So I went along there with um, a friend of mine, and yeah, had a great day. It was really nice to see their new studio space and um, have a look around, you know, all the different fabrics that they've got. And it was just really nice to get back into a kind of physical fabric shop if you know what I mean because during everything that's been going on in the world I have obviously bought fabrics online but there's nothing better in my opinion than getting into a fabric shop and actually you know seeing the fabrics in person so um yeah I really had a, a lovely time when I was there but I picked up this fabric and um it's just a cotton jersey fabric it's got a lovely print on it I just love the kind of bright pop of colors that this has got on here so as you can see we've got orange pink blue and it's got little flowers on there and little dots and all sorts so if you've got any ideas of what I could use this for then let me know it is kind of a medium weight fabric it's got plenty of stretch and like I say it's a cotton jersey fabric and I've got just shy of a meter of it so yeah any ideas that you've got of what I could use that for would be appreciated but I do think whatever I make might go nicely with my salmon skirt so that would be good because i have been thinking you know over the last few months and you will um know if you've watched any of my uh, previous videos that I have been kind of thinking about making things that go with other things rather than just making kind of standalone items i want to try and create a kind of capsule wardrobe of things that all go together so um in a video of mine soon i am planning on sharing with you uh, some of the bits and pieces that i've made already that are forming my kind of spring summer capsule wardrobe so if you are interested in that then do leave me a comment below and, and let me know um, if you are interested and I'll, I'll make sure that i put that video together as soon as i can but yeah so that's that one so next is actually a fabric that I have been sent by Minerva as part of their brand ambassador team. So it was sent to me for free, but obviously I could choose the fabric myself. So I did. This is another cotton jersey fabric and it's a fabric that I'm going to be using to make something for my baby boy, William. So I'm not sure whether to use this for perhaps another, I say another because I think it'd be my third version that I've made, Poppy and Jazz strawberry sweatshirt for him possibly some of the Poppy and Jazz tangerine trousers. So I recently bought that pattern. So um, if you are unfamiliar with the tangerine trousers, they're kind of a, a legging type trouser. And I think they're gonna be absolutely ideal for just, you know, crawling around on the floor, um, getting messy at nursery when he goes and all that kind of thing. So um, William's gonna be starting nursery in September. So um, I'm just, trying to, you know, get a few bits and extra bits and pieces together for, for, for when he goes to nursery a, a few days. So yeah, but anyway, the fabric. So here it is, it's beautiful. It's got rockets all over it. I just think it is such a fun design and he doesn't have any other clothes made out of anything like this. It's white on the back of the fabric and I'd say it's a light to medium weight cotton jersey, to be honest. It's not as heavy as the previous jersey that I just showed you, but I really love the size of the rocket and I just think it's really, really fun. Um, had William been a little bit older, I think this would also be great for some kind of pyjamas, something like that. But um, I think this is going to be super for whatever I decide to use it for. Possibly some little jersey dungarees. I did make him some um, jersey dungarees um, not so long ago, which I really, really like and want to make another pair of. So mm. again, if you've got any ideas of what I could use it for, then do leave me a little comment below. But I think possibly either the Poppy and Jazz birch trousers and tangerine trousers a little jumper or possibly a little dungarees. I'm not sure, but yeah. So this is the fabric anyway. I've got a meter of it. So 
absolutely plenty for making a little outfit for William. He's only 10 months old, so obviously I don't need loads and loads of fabric to make something for him. So um, yeah, so that's that one. Now the next fabrics are actually from um, a fabric company that I've not actually used before, but they are amazing quality fabrics and they're from Eliza Mac Fabrics. So I really like that they put a little note in there and also, um, yeah, just a lovely little card inside the box. Um, and they also sent a, um, I think it was a twinnings tea bag as well. So you can have a little break as well as doing your sewing, which I also like. That kind of gets a bit of a thumbs up from me. I do like a cup of tea or a cup of coffee when I'm sewing. So, um, but yeah, so this, this is really nice. So um, I've got two different fabrics here. One of them um, has actually been sent to me um, by Eliza Mac Fabrics as part of a, um, a review that I said that I would do um, over on my Instagram. So that one was sent to me for free. Um, but I'll, I'll show you the one that I'm going to use myself first and then I'll show you the other one. So I've got one for me and one for uh, little William as well. So this is the first one. I'm thinking that this might be great to make another Talene the Buttons Agnes top or it might be great to do another... Um, pattern scissors cloth galaxy tee i absolutely love that pattern i've made it three times already and i'm sure i'm going to make some more although i was having a little look online last night and i'm thinking oh i shouldn't really buy any more patterns but i was looking at the forget me not pattern and what was it called something like the iris tee um and I just, I really like the look of that because it's got a different kind of sleeve detail. It's kind of folded. There's two different versions of it, I think. There's a shorter sleeve and a longer sleeve, but I've kind of got that I might, maybe I might buy that at some point, but I'm not sure. But I've got, I think I've got a metre of this fabric. It's really nice. It's white. Again, it's a cotton jersey um, and it's got this kind of speckled kind of paint design all over it. Um, really like that kind of splashy um i don't know what you describe it as actually but it's really pretty anyway um i'd say this is a really lovely weight cotton jersey fabric it feels like it's really good quality again it's washed really nicely it's got a nice stretch in both directions and i think it could work well for a lot of different jersey projects to be honest i think if you had enough of it you could make a lovely set of pajamas with it i think they could be really nice and comfortable really cozy um you could also make perhaps a little jersey dress out of it something like that um, but as I've got about a metre of it, I'm not going to have enough to make a dress or anything, but I'm thinking it could make a gorgeous top of some sort. So I shouldn't really always go to the patterns, I suppose, that I love, even though I love making them. It's sometimes nice to have a bit of a change. So again, if you've got any ideas of what I could use this for um, that I haven't perhaps used before in terms of patterns, then do let me know. But um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. So looking forward to sewing that one up and I think it's going to be perfect for summer and possibly you know later in the year as well to be honest I wear my jersey tops all year round anyway um now the final fabric that I'm going to show you before I get on to showing you or talking about my sewing patterns as well as um the digital sewing discount code that I mentioned is another fabric for baby William and this is also from Eliza Mac Fabrics um, it's a slightly lighter weight um, cotton jersey fabric and I absolutely love it because <laughs> there's loads to talk about if that makes sense on this fabric. It's basically got the alphabet all over it. I'll just show that closer to the camera. So as you can see we've got F for fox, we've also got V for vole, S for sun, uh, R for rabbit, P for picnic. Yeah, you get the idea but we've got loads of different pictures on there, lots of different colours, lots of different letters etc etc so not only is this going to make a gorgeous little outfit of some sort but it also gives me loads to talk to William about and to be honest I'll probably use my off cuts of this to either make some little um baby cloths I think they're so helpful for just you know wiping his mouth and that sort of thing and I could even make another little throw for his pram I previously used some um cotton jersey scraps to make him a lovely little um sort of lightweight summer cover up for his pram and we use that one all the time so I'm thinking if I've got anything left of this then maybe I might 
make another one of those, so helpful. Um, but I love having things to talk to him about just to try and stimulate his little mind and um, you know, try and encourage different words and, and sounds and that sort of thing. Um, and you know, we, do, we, we read together every day, that sort of thing. So um, the idea of having all these different words on either a throw or um, a little outfit just seems great to me. But again, a great quality fabric. And um, that one's white on the back and obviously this kind of green colour on the front. So I absolutely love that. And looking on the Eliza Mac website, they've got lots of different lovely, lovely jersey fabrics on there. So I'll definitely be using them um, to uh, pick up some fabrics again in the future. Um, the service was great as well and um, yeah, arrived in no time. So yeah, absolutely super. So I'm looking forward to using that one. So let's talk about patterns. Now I haven't bought any patterns for a little while. I say a little while, it wasn't that long ago, but I've um, recently bought more fabrics, I suppose, than I have actual patterns. So I was excited to pick myself up a few extra ones to try. So um, what shall I tell you about first? So I'm gonna put some uh, footage on the screen of these uh, patterns that I'm gonna talk about for the reason that I've purchased the patterns, I've downloaded them, but I haven't had a chance to print them off yet. So um, that's another job for later this week when I've got a bit of time. So um, the first one is from a pattern company that I was actually unfamiliar with. And then I saw the lovely Liz from The Baker That Sews wearing a version of the skirt. And um, yeah, I had to ask her, which 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 skirt is it? Which which pattern house is it from, etc. cetera? And uh, she, um, of course told me what it was and yeah so helpful so thank you to Liz for that so it was actually by a company called unitedthoughts.com and it's called the Fleur Pinafore and Skirt Pattern so I really fancy making the skirt and that's why I wanted to pick this pattern up for myself basically um I might have a go at making the pinafore at some point but it was the skirt that drew me to this pattern there's two different versions of, I believe, the pinafore and the skirt that you can make. So in terms of the pinafore, there's two different strap versions that you can make. There is a button strap or a bow tie strap. And in terms of the skirt, there is a kind of basic gathered skirt, I think. But then there's also a skirt, which I want to make, which has got a really cute little button placket down each side of the skirt. So kind of starting at the waist and then slightly going down towards the hip, which I thought is a little bit different from other skirts that I've got already. I like that it's got that kind of gathered um, detail as well but you've also got that little bit of interesting detail just at the side of the skirt. I believe you can add patch pockets on there if you want to. I'm not sure if I'll add those on to be honest. I find pockets kind of in the side of the skirt are a bit more helpful to me rather than patch pockets particularly on a skirt but I know they make a lovely design detail but I'm not sure about those yet, but I, I think I'm going to have a go at doing the button placket one. I think this pattern would be really suitable for beginner sewists as well as um, kind of like more confident um, sewers as well. If you've made um, some projects before, I think this could be quite good. I'm saying that I haven't had a go at making the pattern myself yet, but um, looking at what I could find online, I think it should be suitable for, um, you know, people that perhaps are looking for a quick sewing project or perhaps um, you know you're kind of making your first skirt. It's available in both French and English and it's available in sizes 4 through to 34. It's only available as a digital download so that's a, a PDF um, but that's that's great I'm, I'm gonna get mine printed off as I said probably as an AO version rather than printing it at home I just find that a little bit easier rather than having to stick all the pages together. I don't have a lot of time really for um, sewing so I want to use my time for sewing rather than sticking if that makes any sense but I think that the skirt could work well in lots of different fabrics maybe a lightweight chambray maybe a cotton quilting cotton something like that so I'm gonna delve through fabrics that I've got in my stash and hopefully something should work well for that but I'll keep you posted on what I'm gonna use for that project anyway it's really nice to discover a new pattern company and I'm looking forward to just seeing how it comes together. Now the next um, pattern that I wanted to share with you is actually another skirt pattern. Now what I discovered in Me Made May this year, and to be honest last year and probably all the years that I've taken part, is that I've got loads of tops, I've got dresses, but I need more skirts in my wardrobe, basically for my various tops and cardigans to go with. So I thought, 
Becky, you've got to get things together and make some more skirts. So that's why I thought I'd buy a couple of new skirt patterns just to have a go with basically, see how I get on with them. So and the next pattern that I wanted to share with you is by Jennifer Lauren Handmade, and that is the Felicity skirt and dress pattern. So I believe this was originally released as a dress pattern and then they've added a kind of skirt add-on pack to it. Now there's two different skirt variations available. There's a circle type skirt but then there's also a gathered skirt now both of them are a little bit different from either circle skirts or gathered skirts that I've already got in my wardrobe and that's because they've got some lovely pockets on the front that have got a kind of nice curved shaping to them they've got a fitted waistband which I quite like and I think they've got a kind of vintage feel to them as well as being fairly modern as well I'm thinking that I'm going to go for the gathered version because I think that's probably a little bit more wearable day to day for me. I definitely will have a go at doing the circle skirt at some point, I'm sure, but initially I want to have a go at doing the gathered version. Um, again, I'm not sure what fabric I'm going to use for that yet. I'm thinking again, like a chambray might work quite well for it, or um, I think I've got a viscose, um, kind of a slightly heavier weight viscose in my um, stash that I could potentially use just to give it a go. Not sure yet. But if you have made this pattern and you know you've used a particular type of fabric, I'd love to know what you use and um, you know if you've got any hints or tips of you know how um what would work best basically so do let me know so that pattern's actually available in sizes six through to 24. Um, i'm not sure exactly what size i'm going to make yet because i need to study the um, pattern instructions a little bit more but um, yeah looking forward to having a go at that one again soon of course i'm not going to get all these things made up straight away it is going to take me a couple of months to work my way through it i'm sure but i will keep you posted on how i'm getting on now the final thing that i wanted to chat to you about today and the other the sewing pattern I wanted to talk to you about today is actually from the In A Haystack digital sewing subscription pack. So Kate from In A Haystack was so kind and contacted me and asked if I would like to have a look at the July pack and um, would I like to have a go at making the uh, lovely pattern that came in here and just basically have a have a look at it and see what I thought. So of course there was no obligation to actually share that with you but I wanted to because I was pleasantly surprised by the In A Haystack um, digital pack basically. I wasn't sure what it was all about. Um, it's basically a bit like a magazine but it's online and it's sent straight to your inbox basically. There was so much information in there and I found that I could just kind of look at it Put it down go back to it a bit like i would reason reading a kind of physical copy of a magazine you know um, but i really really enjoyed it so i wanted to tell you a little bit more about it and i've also been given very kindly a discount code for 20 percent off your first version of in a haystack if you would like to give it a try so i'm going to be sharing that with that with you on the screen very very soon so stick with me for that one but i just thought i'd tell you a little bit about it if you are unfamiliar with it much like i was so like i say it's a digital sewing subscription service that comes out monthly it's got lots of different information in there and um, it's normally got a particular theme to it i think so the july version was all based about um all based around should i say sewing on the bias so the pattern that came in the july version was the hunter tank by jennifer lauren handmade and it's such a massive coincidence because I was actually going to buy that pattern myself, but then it came in that kind of digital sewing pack. So yeah, I was really, really pleased with that. So that's another one that I'm going to be hoping to sew up soon. So if you are unfamiliar with the little Hunter tank top, someone actually on here suggested um, from one of my previous videos that I should have a go at making it. So thank you to whoever that was who did suggest that because I am really looking forward to giving it a go. It's basically a little um, tie front top that's finished with a bias binding um, around the neckline and around the arms. And it's also cut on the bias as well. So I don't think it should use up too much fabric. And I think it could be made in lots of different types of fabric as well. I'm thinking that I might have a go at making it in a viscose um, or maybe a little lightweight cotton, something like that. Um, but I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, so that came in the in a haystack uh, pack that I received, but obviously each month has got a different theme to it and a different um, sewing pattern as well. One thing that I liked is it got a range of different articles in there. It got some interviews and it also got a bit of a roundup of everything that's going on on Instagram 
which I thought was really, really helpful about different challenges and things like that that you could get involved in. One being the um, Crafty PJ Party by Crafty So and So that's happening in July. So it's kind of a roundup of what's happening in that particular month, which I really like. So it's so easy to miss things and there might be something there that you'd like to take part in. So um, yeah, I, I quite liked that. And I, I really did enjoy reading all the different interviews as well. But I was just kind of, I didn't know what to expect with, with the pack, if I'm honest. I wasn't sure how long it would be. I wasn't sure, you know, how in depth everything would be. But for me, there was just the right amount of detail in the pack. It wasn't too long, it wasn't too short. I've got various different links in there that I could click through to, to find out more about sewing on the bias if I wanted to. And um, you could click through to different um, fabric shops, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I just, I loved it. I really, really enjoyed it. So if you are interested in having a look at In A Haystack, obviously you can have a look on the website, but um, you can also use the very kind discount code that I've been sent. So as I said, this is for 20% off your first edition of the In A Haystack digital sewing subscription and the code that you will need to use is haystack notes so that's all in capitals haystack notes so i'm going to put that on the screen here just so that you can see it as well haystack notes that is so if you'd like to um, put that in then you'll get 20 percent off your first version just to give it a go and um, yeah see how you get on but like i said i really enjoyed it i was really pleased with it and thank you so much for um, sending it to me so yeah i really enjoyed it and um looking forward to like i said making up that little um, Jennifer Lauren handmade pattern that came with it as well and I, I think the great thing about subscribing to that service would be that you get introduced to different independent pattern houses as well so you know if I've not been familiar with Jennifer Lauren handmade then obviously there's that one and every month is a different one so yeah Great, but thank you so much for um, sharing that with me anyway. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of my different fabrics and learning about the patterns that I've picked up um, over the last month or so as well. Um, as I said, if you have got any ideas of what I could use things for um, in terms of fabrics, that would be amazing. Um, just leave me a comment below and let me know. Um, but thank you for joining me today. If you have enjoyed watching, I would love it if you could press that like button, uh, leave me any comments that you'd like to and subscribe to my channel. And Thank you so much to everyone, of course, who has subscribed already. Um, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, so thank you to everyone. But until next time, I shall leave it there and say see you very soon. Bye.